Celtic guitarist Christopher Dean is here with us. And Christopher, would you would you play something on that beautiful guitar for us? I'd be more than happy to. What are we going to hear? Ye Banks and Braze of Bonnie Doon. Okay. Robert Burns tune. Here we go. looks sweet and it boy it sure sounds sweet that thing sounds sounds great bob taylor's here from taylor guitars john diagostino from taylor guitars and also playing the guitar for us celtic guitarist christopher dean for more information on the liberty guitar go to taylorguitars.com and for more about christopher and his new cd the gale visit his label online at kearneyhill.com that's c-a-i-r-n-e-y hill.com and you know it's it struck me you guys, the irony of playing Celtic music on a show about American patriot, patriotism and the Liberty Tree. Mm-hmm. But uh, actually, some of this music would have been along the lines of what they would have been hearing in the colonies, correct? They were Englishmen that were revolting, you know. So the, they brought the songs of their homeland there, and, and uh, they really...
That's Christopher Dean music from his new CD, The Gale. He's here with us playing a Liberty Tree guitar from Taylor tonight. You can join our conversation, 888-895-5727. Bob Taylor and John Diagostino are here with us from Taylor Guitar. <laughs> That's Christine playing music there from his new CD, The Gale. And if you want to find out more about Christopher Dean and his music, you can visit his label online, kearneyhill.com. That's C-A-I-R-N-E-Y hill.com. For more information on Taylor guitars or their Liberty Tree guitar, visit them online at Taylor. We'll see you out there in Cyberland. Christopher Dean, would you play another tune for us on the, on the Liberty Tree? More than happy to. That thing is amazing. Talk talk about sustain, but I don't want to get too technical on people here, but that thing sounds great. And Yeah, yeah. Christ, Christopher Dean, thank you. And, uh, you know, actually, it's interesting that you would play that song, which I believe the title is The Water is Wide, correct? That's correct. I've had that song in my head for several years now because I once went to a Neil Young show where he played that thing live on his electric guitar and wow. stuck in my head, and then I never heard it again, and I never could figure out what song it was, but I knew it was some kind of patriotic mm-hmm. uh, or, or, or heartfelt kind of, a, kind of a song. So thank you for clearing that up for <laughs> me on the Liberty, 
Liberty Tree. What a great song. Yeah, guitar. that's no small thing either, t- hearing music like that being played on that guitar. While he was playing, I just just stopped for a moment, even while we were here, and just listened to it. And you just, you imagine the, the pedigree of that wood and all the things that took place under it. And it's really, a, it's a neat thing. And that's what I think it is so neat about being able to make well let's i want to talk to christopher dean again for a second here because he told us uh a few minutes ago that uh he actually had laid off the guitar for something like a decade and uh picked up a tailor and got re-inspired now he swears that you didn't bribe him and i want to hear that story no i actually didn't um <clears throat> there was a friend of mine that worked at taylor with john D'Agostino, and uh we had businesses that were relatively close. I had I owned a business at that time. And uh, Don would invite me over to their office when they were photographing new Taylor guitars, and he'd stick one in my hand. And at that time, I hadn't played for, for about nine or ten years. So it was rather embarrassing every time I picked one up. But there was something magical about the feel of the guitar. And all of a sudden, the flame was lit again, and uh, I had the opportunity to purchase a used Taylor Maple guitar, a 612. And uh, after a little discussion with my wife, I was given permission to go ahead and spend the money and, and buy the guitar. And literally, it was the best investment I've ever made. It uh, pulled me right back into playing again. Uh, it pulled me into the nucleus of Celtic music, which is something that both my wife and I had a, a great appreciation for for a number of years, predicated on our heritage. Uh, and literally, it's changed my life. Uh, I now own two more tailors, uh, a Rosewood 814 and a Sapele Mahogany 314. And is the wife still hanging in there? <laughs> well, just recently, we had to part with the maple guitar uh, because she wouldn't let me own three. Okay. So, <laughs> so I had to sell it to get the Rosewood. Honey, are you listening? This is such a common story, you know, being in our position in PR at Taylor Guitars, the stories we get from, from guys. i got to buy this guitar, but i got to figure out a way to get my wife to let me You mean it. there's actually some wives out there who think they, they would rather have a, a, a car than a, than a Liberty guitar? Or furniture. We've heard every story. You know, I'm going to have to barter with my wife. We're going to have to make an agreement because you know, she wants furniture and I want this guitar, <laughs> that kind of thing. You know, the bulk of the guitars we sell, people are buying. Thank you all so much. And Christopher Dean... Uh, Take us out with one more song. Have a great weekend. We'll be back Monday night with films from the Long Cult Summer Series in Balboa Park. I'm Dirk Sutro, and here is Christopher Dean.